Oh, what a fucking week. What a week. I got to tell you something right now. I did a show in Dublin, Ireland, and all the crowds were great. But I got to tell you, those fucking people in Ireland are the funniest. They're, I can't even explain. I swear, to, well, there's something about, like, when I go through Great Britain and then Ireland, it's like Scotland and Ireland, they're like the knuckleheads that I grew up with. And when I go to London, London is like was is kind of like all the people that I met when I went to New York that were from Boston. So they they did move away from where they were from, but they still brought that thing with them because people in London are hilarious. But I was doing a show in Dublin on Monday night at the the, the Vicker Vicker Street Theater or something. Just this awesome venue. By the way, Jim Gaffigan's going to be there. If any of you Irish cunts are listening to this, you got to go see him. I was supposed to tweet about that. I'm going to do that today. Um, the hilarious Jim Gaffigan's going to be there. Um, and uh, anyway, so it was, it was on a Monday night. And it's a really hard night to try and sell tickets. And these people showed up in force. And I can't even tell you how. They, they, they were fucking hilarious. Like, I was on stage, and there was this thing I was talking about, about people hugging their kids. And now that could put, is a good thing, but if you do it too much, you could potentially make them weaker. So I mentioned, and all I've been telling this story for like six to eight months, and I've been saying how that you know my mother wasn't a hug, hugger and didn't hug us when we were kids, and people just listen, and it's just a small detail that leads to this other part that I want to talk about. So I've said that line uneventfully. That's even a fucking word with with no no issue whatsoever for like six months. Now I'm in fucking Ireland, and I just throw that line out there like I'm not even thinking about it. And say yeah, I said you know my mother didn't hug me when I was a kid, and I'm I'm getting ready to say the next sentence, and like 15% of the crowd goes aww. <laughs> I'm not even doing it the way they did it, just collectively. Broke my ball. It was just such the classic fucking, it was like that Boston Irish thing that I grew up with distilled to its purest form with actually real Irish people where I, you'd almost have to be there to fucking understand what was behind it. It was like I opened the emotional door just a crack and automatically, it's just they just bust your balls about it. Like, ah, you fucking, you know what? Like, you think they? I think we got hugs. You freckled cunt, shut the fuck up and tell the joke. I can't even. It just. I, I I've been trying to. I've tried to explain it to Nia. She laughed, but still, yeah, you kind of had to be there. And then, you know, so I laughed. I'm like, well, I'm not fucking trying to get your sympathy. I'm trying to get to this mess next part, you assholes. And the whole crowd fucking laughs. And then, like a half hour later. What I had done when I was over there was I bought a bunch of DVDs with me, um, like just the uh, – basically the DVD itself with this little paper thing. And I was just handing them out to people because I'm trying to get them to show other people, you know, when I'm out there so I can keep coming back, basically trying to get them to uh, spread the word of my comedy. And then someone's just like, well, why don't you just put it on Spotify, you dumb fuck? And I'm like, ah, because I'm old, all right? I feel like I have to bring the hard copy. So I tell these assholes – then I'm giving them free DVDs at the end of the show, and I'm halfway through that spiel, telling them that they're getting a free DVD, all right? And, and I'm in the middle of it, and I hear this guy in the back of the crowd goes, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I don't even think I didn't even explain what I was doing. I don't know if I had gotten to the part where they were free. I don't know what the fuck, or it was the fact that I was trying to once again go to a nice place where, hey, you know, I really appreciate you guys coming out. This really means a lot to me, and I want to keep coming back here because I think you got a great com country or whatever. And I just, just opening the door that much. Oh, fuck off. So I finally just looked at him. I went, Jesus Christ. They were already laughing. I was like, you know what? I've played in 20, almost 22 years as a comedian. I have played in front of some miserable motherfuckers, but you guys, and they were already laughing, are the most miserable fucking cunts I've ever been in. And they loved it. Absolutely loved it. And um, 
It killed me that I couldn't go out drinking with the crowd because I had to fucking go. I uh, had an early flight, of course, all the way over to Helsinki. But um, And it was just kind of those moments 